Hey everyone, so maybe you are using dual boot and while using it you may face this problem that while learning your C++ or C code using GCC you get this kind of error that cannot open output file, read only file system or error LD return warning systems. I am going to show it again, you can check. The error is like this and also I get this error as well. If you just write something and want to save it, you get this error, fail to save, this is only read only file system. If you try this as well, that this may be a mount issue or anything, but you can check this is already mounted, right? So what is the solution? I have tried various solution over internet like Stack Overflow YouTube, but still I have not found anything. But one solution I am getting that you have to restart and come back to your Windows, right? So let me restart the session, right? So I'm going to restart. So hey guys, I'm back in my Windows subsystem and now I'm going to open up a setting. So look carefully that I'm going to search this item, edit power plan. When you search this, you get this kind of interface. Simply come back, power options, you just need this option, choose what closing the lead does, right? And then click on change setting that are currently unavailable and uncheck this section right so you might think that i already have unchecked then why i am getting this error so this is the only solution i am still getting so just you have to uncheck this again and save changes and simply cross now you have to restart and get back to ubuntu right so let me back So hey guys, I'm back again to my Ubuntu subsystem. You can check. Okay, now before that, your main task is to mount the drive that is the new volume and the C drive if you have both partition. And now after that, if you want to save the file right now, Control S and you can check it is saved successfully. And also if you want to run the code, you can check it asks for the input give him 5 and you can check the code is successfully compiled and executed so hope you have solved your problem and if the problem is still exist let me know in the comment section and i will definitely try to help you so till then take care